Praise the Lord and welcome to God's Hiller 7 channel. I'm Sister Barbara and I have a prophecy that I'd like to uh, read for you today. I'm going to be in the book of Jeremiah, Jeremiah chapter 7, New King James Version Study Bible. I'm going to be reading chapter, uh, chapter 7 verses 1 to 12. <clears throat> the word that came to Jeremiah from the Lord saying, Stand in the gate of the Lord's house and proclaim there this word and say, Hear the word of the Lord, all you of Judah who enter in at these gates to worship the Lord. Thus says the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, Amend your ways and your doings, and I will cause you to dwell in this place. Do not trust in these lying words, saying, The temple of the Lord, the temple of the Lord, the temple of the Lord, are these. For if you thoroughly amend your ways and your doings, if you thoroughly execute judgment between a man and his neighbor, if you do not oppress the stranger, the fatherless, and the widow, and do not shed innocent blood in this place, or walk after other gods to your hurt, then I will cause you to dwell in this place, in the land that I gave to your fathers forever and ever. Behold, you trust in lying words that cannot profit. You, will you steal? Murder, commit adultery, swear falsely, burn incense to Baal, and walk after other gods whom you do not know, and then come and stand before me in this house, which is called by my name, and say, We are delivered to do all these abominations. Has this house, which is called by my name, become a den of thieves in your eyes? Behold, I, even I, have seen it, says the Lord. So this is the prophecy. Daughter, prophesy today to this generation of mockers, scoffers, and wicked. So has it been in the past, so shall it be this day. My servant Noah lives in an evil time when men's thoughts were continu continually evil, so as they are today. Consider these chosen men, Noah, Lot, Job, and the prophets, Nehemiah, Isaiah, Jeremiah, Ezekiel, and Zechariah. I sent them to do a task for me. All came with the same message to the people and nations. Turn from your wicked and perverse ways. Help the needy, poor, and the widow. Do not oppress the less fortunate. Do not worship false idols, commit adultery, or murders. Return to me. Noah and his family were spared from the flood. Lot was spared by intercession. Job humbled himself before the Lord and believed in the one true God. I set before you this hour life or death. So there's your free will choice going on here. So repent and be baptized in the name of Jesus. You will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit created by the Acts 2.38. And I'm proclaiming the acceptable year of the Lord from now until September 23rd, 2015, Yom Kippur, Day of Atonement. That is my prophecy time frame. I have a new prophecy time frame starting on September 24th, 2015. And it is uh, I'm to announce the coming of the glorious kingdom and his majesty. So we have again, we have the choice here. I set before I set before you this hour life or death. So do you want eternal life? Right now is the time to repent, turn away from your sin, uh, get your house in order. This is the latter days that's written about in the Bible, the end of days. Uh, Jesus is coming back. Um, I hope to see you all. Uh, in let's just say the glorious kingdom at, at some point. God bless you all and be safe and a special prayer for your families out there 
Amen.